Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one is from Alengu29. Seeking a full stack developer, skilled in React, React Admin, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, and Python to intern at Inception and will be part of a high-speed team building a world's first type of website. The role will focus on development of our content management system, which is based on React Admin. This opportunity is unpaid, available immediately, and can be filled in a part-time or full-time capacity. It will be a great opportunity to collaborate with our team members in North America, Europe, and Asia. Come join us! I would assume somebody with the qualifications you're seeking would actually be able to get a paying job and not have to do a bunch of work that's unpaid. This next one is by Explain Why I'm Here. Find short videos for my page. Send a proposal for two connects. Available connects 70. I'm looking for someone who can find, download, and remove the copyrighted music, put my logo, and upload the 500 short videos on my Google Drive. I will pay $5 for the 500 videos you finish. This will be a long-term job if I liked your work and will give you great feedback. Find videos 7 to 10 minutes, download 2 to 5 minutes, upload to editing software 1 to 3 minutes, remove music 1 to 2 minutes, add logo 1 to 5 minutes, upload to Google Drive 3 to 10 minutes, 15 to 35 minutes per video times 500 is equal to 7500 minutes or 125 hours, 17,500 minutes or 291 hours of work. Well, since they broke down the amount of hours you'd be investing, $5 is definitely not worth that. I really hope they can find their own short videos and edit them for their page. This next one is from Just Slip Away. Hi, I have a question. Are you able to send me a hoodie in the mail as my husband is at high risk? He had triple bypass surgery and he's out of his job due to medical issues and money is very tight right now for us. My husband is a first responder. He's on permanent disability now. I will post a good review. My wedding anniversary is October 31st. The fact that you're saying you'll give a good review and then stating when your wedding anniversary is, is it really for your husband or is it for you? I I'm just trying to figure it out here. This next one is by Tensor Blow. Hi everyone. I'm looking for a natural sperm donor meeting these requirements age 16 to 23, and never used any prescription or illicit drugs, never drank except for communium, blonde or light brown hair, not overweight, and comes from a 75% plus American background, agrees to forfeit all paternal rights at the time of birth. No payment will be collected during any natural breeding sessions. However, regular child support payments in the amount of 20% of your income will be expected in the first month of birth. You will remain completely anonymous throughout the child's 18 years of life, and you would be expected to maintain that same level of anonymity with anyone around you. Please reach out to me through Messenger for more information. Thank you. The fact that you're actually looking for someone to, what, give you a child and then give you money on top of it while you're not even letting them be a part of the child's life? There's something called a sperm bank. Maybe you should go check that out, although they don't offer child support. This next one is from Inoculus86. We have four indoor cats, a two-year-old male golden retriever, and three-year-old female black Labrador. The Labrador is a service dog, and it is not used to being left alone and spends the majority of her time inside. 90% of the time, the Goldie prefers to be inside too, unless there's mud and puddles to play in. He's a grody boy. <laughs> the cats have two self-cleaning Cat Genie litter trays to make life easier. The Cat Genie needs to be monitored, but they scoop, wash, and dry the litter after every use. The cats are not allowed outside, no matter what they tell you. 
cats are fed every morning. The two dogs are fed at 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. with advanced dry food and raw carrots for treats. The Labrador goes out the backyard in toilets on command and comes back inside with you. Both dogs enjoy a game of chase in the backyard. The dogs are good on lead and enjoy a walk. They are not to free run off the lead. We are seeking a person or a couple to stay in our home in the spare room and be with the animals at all times except short shopping trips etc. Unless you are popping to the shop for an hour, someone is to be with the dogs. The animals sleep on the bed with you. Thank goodness the bed is super king size. The house is a basic old cottage with access unlimited internet and has a big TV in the spare room and the lounge room. This house pet sit would suit retirees, grey nomads looking for a break from the road, digital nomads, homebodies. It does not suit someone who is out a lot or works or has their own pets. Free accommodation in exchange for house pet sitting. Must have police checks and recent contactable references. Tentative dates. The 1st of November to the 1st of December 2022. The 7th of February to the 9th of March 2023. May and June 2023. August 2023. November 2023. I would prefer the sitter to arrive a couple days before each trip to ensure the pets are settled. This would be an ongoing arrangement for a responsible person or couple. There is a possibility that a small fully furnished three bedroom cottage could be made available after Christmas at reduced rent in exchange for caring for our pets. You would be responsible for utility costs. If staying in our home, a small fee to care for the pets may be negotiable and we would pay the utility costs. Must be excellent with animals and very responsible. If this opportunity is something that would suit you, please message me. I can't see anybody messaging you because if you're saying that people have to pay to watch your pets and to take care of your pets, remember, the ones that can't be alone, so the person can't go get a job to generate money, how the hell do you expect somebody to watch your pets and pay you? This next one is by Ladybug392. Any jeans, preferably not white, size 1 to 7, not distressed, not high waisted, preferably not black either, that has only been washed in free and clear laundry soap or unscented and not moldy, moldy, or from a smoker. Thanks in advance. That's quite a range in size, 1 to 7. And so you prefer junior sizes? Typically junior size tends to run narrower in the hips. Perhaps a woman's size 4 to 6 would work? Another thing that would be very helpful is for you to post a picture in the comments of an example of a pair of jeans that you're looking for. There are so many different styles and brands and colors of jeans. While that commenter is offering good advice, I can't help but feel like they're reinforcing the choosing beggar mindset. Now the choosing beggar is going to go probably find ridiculous shit, post those pictures and say they want those and will take no less. Not a fact, just a prediction. This next one is from It Comes In Pints. Outrageous requests I've had for personal songs from people who really don't understand how businesses work. A thread. 1. You'll build a name for yourself much quicker by doing this for free. Oh, I didn't realize I'd have to pay. I'd have thought with the current stage of your career, you'd be doing this for exposure and to get your name out there. Sadly, neither my rent or bills can be paid in exposures. Happy to do a song for the price above in time for your wedding. Let me know if I can help further. That's a bit cheeky. In my opinion, you're being unrealistic with pricing and you'll build a name for yourself much quicker by doing these for free or really cheap to get your name out there. Talented for sure, but can't see people paying for something like that. The world doesn't owe you a living. That last line rings hella deja vu, and to be fair, I'm not sure if I've done it before or not. After 140 something episodes of Choosing Beggars, it's kinda hard to keep track of what I do, but in terms of that, the premise is the same for the beggar. The world doesn't owe the beggar free or cheap. If they want a service, they need to pay. And our final one is by Darker9. 
So, I am an artist. Someone messaged me saying that they absolutely loved my artwork and wanted me to illustrate an entire children's book for them. I gave them a quote of $150 to do the entire book, and they promptly replied that my artwork is way overpriced and they were not going to pay an illustrator that much. Good luck with your book, lady. So many people wanting a service, wanting a product, wanting something, not necessarily needing it, but yet not wanting to pay for it either. So many people's parents failed them, or their parents tried and ended up giving up because the entitlement was too damn strong. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.